or now that's a very little word on which to hang an evening's worth of show. But I will now that little word enlarge and show a vast unsettled world within that open O and nosing thrust of R. Our play will shortly ricochet between a dense array of seeming opposites. Spy or poetess, actress or whore, male or female, straight or gay, or both. Wrong or righteous, treacherous or true, Lust or love, cheap hackney trash or art. Now or then, a distant fervent age, or this, our time, of mingled hope and fear. And yet, despite all seeming differences, those oars divide less than they subtly link. And what seem opposite and all at odds are, in their deepest nature, most the same. We all embody opposites within, or else we're frankly far too dull to live. And this, our wilding world cannot be hemmed within a made-up symmetry of sense. That being said, we'll open up the gate, unhinge the R and step on through the O to find our characters from history fetched. Although they no doubt would not know themselves were they sudden brought into this room to witness.